Welcome back to the channel at Javon Slab Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. Before we continue, I want you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and hit that share button. And share this video. Right? So today, the topic is pain. Pain. Right? This is one of my favorite topics. And I believe in life that everybody can relate to pain. You know, we all have some type of pain, but what I find today in society is that people either interpret their pain the wrong way or we've been taught or brainwash to not display our pain because that's a form of weakness. But today, hopefully, I will be able to consider A new perspective into the eyes of the people whoever may watch this video now pain I know me personally my life is filled with pain but I realized something special about pain. Pain is inevitable. But the good thing about pain is that it's consistent. And being that pain is consistent, at least you know to expect it. Because it's a part of life. Right? Now. I remember. When I was younger. Elementary school. I remember I used to get bullied. Right? I remember. Even growing up. Going to high school, excuse me, going to junior high school in my early freshman year. Right? Until one day, I decided. To fight this bully off. And. Just by me finally facing. This internal problem. That I was fighting for so many years. I realized something special. That. You have to fight pain. And if you sit back and let pain build up and you don't fight it and you don't address it, you will get buried in your own grave that you dig for yourself. Right? Now, you know, growing up without a father, in and out of group homes, 
in and out of in some cases, mental institutions, because I was mentally disturbed as a child, growing it up, growing up without my father, right, and in and out of jail, and later on the line, I end up going to prison, right. I was involved in so much pain and then I realized while I was in prison that I needed to make some internal changes and I needed to find new ways to channel my pain. And one of those ways is by reading, right? By reading. I'm a hardcore reader. I've been a hardcore reader for years. And this is a way of the many ways that I address my pain. Me making YouTube videos is therapy for me. Right? And being in solitude allows me to address all the pain that I feel, to face it, and to channel it by challenging myself, by keep growing mentally, right? Now, I'm thankful for COVID-19 because contrary to most, I realized something special. Pain is a gift. My divorces, my marriages that didn't work out, all my pain, everything that I ever been through in my life that caused me some pain, I'm thankful for it. And today, because I spend so much time by myself in solitude and growing mentally and spiritually, today, I'm happy and I'm at peace because I gave my life to the public and I have nothing to hide because I'm secure with myself. And I'm finally free, right? But I believe that if it wasn't for the pain, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have become the man that I came today. In other words, everything that I went through in my life, if I had an option, to live my life again. If Allah gave me a choice to live my life again, I would not change nothing. I would go through the same pain, make the same mistakes, go through the same process, all those trials and tribulations from getting bullied, from going to prison, from growing up without my father. All these trials and tribulations, the struggles of trying to grow a company, the struggles of being a black man, being an entrepreneur, being an ex-con, and being a Muslim. Having all these odds against me, coming, coming from a poverty background, all these things that's against me, that's supposed to be against my favor of me striving. 
and making my way to the top is supposed to be against me. I wouldn't change nothing. I will go through the same divorces. I will have the same kids. I will go through every trial and tribulation again. And I wouldn't change nothing. Why? Because everything that I've been through in my life up until this point right here in front of this video, in front of people, I'm talking to the people. Everything that I've been through in my life up until this point right here made me the man that I am today. And I wouldn't trade that for nothing. So your pain is a perception. And the only way to get the best out of your pain is you got to change your perception. You got to open yourself up. You got to be open to new challenges. You got to be open to books. You got to be open to positivity. You got to be open to change. You got to be open to make a difference. You got to be open for anything that's contrary to what you normally know. Because what you normally know is not going to make you grow. It's comfort in that. But what makes you grow is the pain of going through that process of the unknown. That's where the wealth is at. I'm not talking about wealth and money. I'm talking about wealth and character. I'm rich in character. Forget any of the assets that I have. That don't define me. Because if you take everything away from me, if I lost everything today, all my investments, if I lost everything and you put me back in a cell, Let's say if I was in a cell, locked in my cell, even if I was naked, I still have my character, and that's internal, and nobody could take that from me, because that's the real wealth. Real wealth can't be taken from you when it comes from inside, when it's internal. I got the mindset. So I'm forever rich. I'm forever wealthy. I'm a boss. Because I'm the master of my life. And the law made me a master of all my trials and tribulations and my pain. Because he is the ultimate master. And... Your pain has to be embraced because if you run from your pain and you don't address your pain, remember this before I close this video. Remember this. Remember this. Remember these words before I close this video. If you don't address your pain and you don't embrace it and become one with your pain and let that be the reason that you strive and keep going and push forward. Don't cry to stop. Cry to keep going. Let that baggage out and keep going. If you don't address this, if you don't face this, You will always be in the worst form of prison. And this is mental slavery. Thank y'all for tuning in. Jerome Slab Products LLC. I love y'all. Stay blessed.